Hey guys, this is Emerald Fire, and today I'm going to show you how to easily count any kind of mob you want. For example, if you have a map where you need to tally up how many villagers are left in the game, or how many zombies are left to kill, you can use this system, and it only takes a few command blocks. So, I'll give you a demonstration. First, I'll spawn in some villagers. I won't be counting the number of villagers in my head, but I can solve that easily by pressing the Count Villagers button. And, turns out there are 12. You can pause the video, check that for yourself if you want. But, I will now put in some cows to demonstrate that you can just count whatever kind you want, singling out different things. So, this will spawn both villagers and cows, since there are uh, some random chances here. So I can go ahead and count the number of cows, that should be 4 cows, and I can recount the number of villagers, and there are now 20 in there. Now we'll make things interesting. We'll throw in some zombie eggs. As you know, zombies will attack villagers and turn them into zombies, so we can be updating the tally to see how the numbers change. So let's spawn in some stuff, there's a couple of zombies there. Ah uh, yes. Let's see, three zombies, 24 villagers, oh, but now as the zombies go up, the villagers go down, and the zombies are burning in the daylight too. Alright, so eventually they'll just eat all the villagers, and yeah, it's getting down there. Um, yep, I think they all just died now. No more villagers. And then when you're all done, you can just reset the counter. Okay, let's go ahead and kill all these guys, and I'll show you how it works. Basically, all it does is use one execute command to count the number of mobs. Over here, it just executes at E, type equals, whatever kind of mob you want. And you can also name certain mobs um, if you were spawning them in for custom spawn, so you could tally them exactly. Or you could use other NBT tags, such as score, because that has been fixed, and now it does work with at E. And so it finds all of those mobs, and then it adds one to a player called villagers score for the objective mob count. Mob count is just a dummy objective, and villagers is just a player name I chose. It's, uh, it could be a real player's name. <laughs> If you are, you are the player named Villagers, leave a comment. But, um, yeah, it doesn't matter. I just picked a name that would make sense. And it just adds one for every Villager it finds in the world. And it's that simple. This first command block over here just sets that score to zero before tallying them up. And the reset clock just resets that uh, score. So, for Villagers, I use a player called Villagers. For Cows, I use a player called Cows. And that's how it displays that in the sidebar. It's all very straightforward stuff. And believe it or not, that is it for this video. It's a very simple concept. It does not need a long explanation. So if you enjoyed, please leave a comment and let me know. If you have any uses for this, I'd be glad to know about that too. But hey, I'm not going to pressure you. Alright, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.